we get into today's video, here's a disclaimer. There are no quick fixes for stress and anxiety. It's going to take time and effort from our side to find what the problem is and then apply the solution. So with that in mind, let's get into today's video. The kind of work stress each person experience is different. Your work and some others work are different. The kind of deadlines you have and I have are not the same. Your boss is different and my boss is different. So the kind of stress that we experience is very subjective. And the steps that we're going to see today is not going to apply the same for everyone. So take a fix, see how you can apply it into your life and make the best out of it. But before we get into the solutions, we want to know what the problem is. So you have to ask yourself, why am I stressed? Take some time to reflect on the things that are making you stressed. There are people, situations, deadlines, something that is making you stressed. Find that out. Am I stressed because of this deadline? If yes, then why? Do I think I can't finish it before deadline? If yes, then again, why? Answer these questions for yourself. Keep asking yourself why and find the root cause for your stress. What might happen? What's the worst case? Ask yourself these questions and get a clarity on what is stressing you out. Is it my boss? Is it the presentation that I have? Is it about this deadline? Is it about these meetings? Is it about this conflict with my coworker? Or is it about my growth or promotion? What is it? What is stressing you out in your workplace? Find the problem. Now, once you find the problem, the next question is, what is the solution? How do I fix this? Let's see four things that can help you feel relieved. Number one, boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries can actually help us when people expect us to be available 24 by 7. Be assertive on setting your work hours and your availability. Let people know that they cannot connect with you after working hours regarding work matter. If anything is required, you finish it during the work hours or you do it the next day. And while you set this boundary for others, you also make sure that you are not thinking about work after your work hours. No emails, no calls. Set the boundaries for others. Also set the boundary for yourself. I also do understand that sometimes there is a necessity. There is some email that you have to send after working hours. There is some call that you have to take after working hours. I totally understand this. But if this is not disturbing your work-life balance, if this is not stressing you out, then it's totally fine, it's good to go. But if it does, if it is stressing you out and disturbs your work-life balance, it is important to set boundaries and maintain the balance there. Number two, learn to relax. When I say relax, if you are picturing yourself leaning on your couch, watching Netflix and eating some junk food, no. Stress clogs your mind. And you have to do something that unclogs your mind, something that doesn't really take up a lot of your mind's energy. Something like a meditation or a quiet walk. This is what relaxation is all about. If you're not really a meditating or breathing exercise kind of person, here are a few other things that you could try. Take yourself to a nice restaurant or prepare a meal for yourself. Try cleaning or organizing your workspace. Try journaling or take a nice self-care shower or simply make a list of things that you feel grateful for. You can choose any such activity which doesn't take up a lot of your mind's energy and relaxes you. Something that rejuvenates you for the next day. Number three, take a break. There is a reason we have holidays every week. To take a break, refresh and then get back with energy. Using this break to again think about work adds more stress. It is important to take a break. When you take a break, some people may think that you're not serious about your work or you're not dedicated. But you have to understand that these people will not help you when you're stressed out, when you're filled with anxiety. Your break is important for your mental health and performance. So take that break that is rightfully yours. Take a vacation whenever possible. Engage in activities that doesn't involve anything from your work. Something like your hobbies or some other activities that gives you your energy back. Number four, seek help if required. When I say help, I'm not just talking about professional help. Talk to your manager, talk to your co-worker. If someone's actions or words is stressing you out, talk to them directly about this. There's no reason for you to stress out thinking about someone else's actions. Always try talking and sorting things out. Now, these are the four things that might help you. 
Now, if you want any of these to actually help you from your stress and anxiety, the first and foremost step is to find out what is stressing you out. Take some time for yourself and reflect on your work experience, your day-to-day -day work experience and find the points that are stressing you out and only then you can solve the problem. I hope this video was helpful. For more such videos, subscribe to the channel and if you're still here, thank you so much for watching.